So this is the package, the new light pack comes in. So here we have the list of what's inside, designed in USA, assembled in China. And this is what it looks when we open the box. This is the HD version, UHD, I think, 4K version of Light Pack, Light Pack 2. We have input HDMI, power, and LED strip connection connectors. And we have four HDMI inputs, which I'm only gonna use one of because I have a, a receiver which actually acts as a hub for all the HDMI devices. It's quite heavy. It's a nice um, soft padding which should prevent the device from sliding on smooth surfaces. At the bottom we can see the warning instructions that we don't have we must not disassemble it because small parts may fall out of the device, roll under something and get swollen by mice. Alien attack may happen and the device may become conscious of itself and start the machine uprising. This is actually cute. And I think details like that show that the guys actually care about the product itself. And when we open the box here, again, cute, you can see the holes are in the shape of the actual device. I think this just also matters. And inside, everything is actually neatly organized in paper envelopes and boxes with everything having its own name. Power adapter. Okay, this is the digital LED ribbon. Press over here and yeah, okay. And it's out. So we can see how cute everything looks. Again, the details like that I think matter a lot if you're actually trying to create a real product. Okay, this is the remote. Yeah, remote is quite cheap, doesn't look like much, it's very light as well, but I hope you don't have to use it too often. Okay, power adapter is universal, and there are two connectors, the US and Europe, and it has a glossy top. And it's quite heavy, I think it's uh, 4 amperes, 12 volts. Um, so here we have HDMI cable and we have a LED strip connector. This is the digital LED ribbon, 5 meters. I think this is again just generic programmable ribbon no not really it looks like it's actually branded you see you can see here light pack well it's uh, in a rubber tubing which should protect it from dust but it yes it also means you cannot actually buy the generic one if you want to do it later. Uh, the problem with the ribbon that you actually have to cut it to your TV. So if you cut it to your TV, you won't be able to reuse it on a larger screen. Because I have a plan to upgrade my TV eventually. And I guess we'll have to buy the new ribbon there. Not a huge problem, but still. Okay, I guess it's time to assemble it. This is my setup. I have a I have a TV, which is a 65 inch. Uh, I have a 
receiver that acts as a hub for all HDMI devices. I have a couple of Xboxes and uh, the HTPC. They all connect to the receiver and a single cable from receiver goes to the TV where it it's always stays on the single input. Uh, I will be putting the light pack in between the receiver and the TV. So here we have um, the quick start guide, which is, I think, it's fairly brief. It's very thin, but at the same time, uh, it's supposed to help me. And um, we do have the, these clip-ons included and the idea is they have to start from the left lower corner of the TV on the back side and go clockwise connecting the strip. The problem of course is that this is not the ideal place to actually start from in terms of um, visual approach or making everything neat and uh, nice. I thought originally that I can start from the middle of the TV where the TV stand is here I have a TV stand, I thought I'd start there and uh, go clockwise and turn here and this connecting wire will be coming from here back to the uh, behind the TV. Here you have to start from the corner and of course you need to be very careful so that the corner, this corner is actually covered. In the other demo videos uh, of the other guys installing the light pack to uh, light pack 2 i thought that I, I saw that this corner sometimes is uh, not properly lit yeah so this is the uh, this is the potential issue in terms of um, installation another issue is that you have to be very careful uh, so that those uh, clips which are reusable by the way do not cover the leds on the strip and it's very difficult to understand uh, where the LEDs will be because you have to first put the strip behind the TV and then you will see. So if you, but you cannot connect this, the, the LED strip without the connecting the uh, clip-ons first. Uh, and if you sort of place them randomly, uh, and then realize that some of the uh, LED uh, LEDs on the strip are co covered by those clip-ons, you have to move the, the strip around. But this will lead to either moving this uh, place too low or too high. And again, uh, under lit um, corner or the cable will stuck underneath the TV. I think this is, uh, this is the major issue of uh, the installation. Of course, if you're careful enough, everything can be, can be done properly. But I think for the average user, it produces a number of problems. Uh, by the way, they, they also include uh, the connectors in the package. That means that actually you can connect back the uh, strip that has been cut. So my previous statement is incorrect. Even if I uh, buy a larger TV, I can still connect the existing strip to the remaining piece of, uh, piece of the strip and it will all work nicely. Okay, we are behind my TV and uh, here lies another issue with the current setup where I have to start from this corner. As you can see, this is the stand, this is the stand for, uh, for my TV, which is quite heavy. And this part here is quite thick. And uh, the problem is, according to instructions, I have to place the strip like two centimeters uh, near the edge. And here, the best I can do is place it here. And if it goes uh, neatly in one line across uh, the entire bottom, it's just quite far above the bottom edge of the TV, which I don't think will be enough to produce a uh, great effect. And of course, if I, if I would be able to start here at the bottom, I would just simply start from here or even even lower here and just ignore this uh, part with the stand completely at least uh, I had the original light pack I had two of those and uh, they actually didn't cover this part 
I had the strips uh, connected to this part of the bottom edge of the TV but uh, with this one it should go straight from from, from the, that corner to the original corner where I start from and I have no idea how to do it properly I have successfully installed the LED strip and this is how it looks like I've started like that from the corner went up and I was connecting uh, putting those clip-ons on the TV uh, one by one as I went clockwise making sure that uh, I connect them in the places where there are no uh, LEDs on the strip it's it's I would say moderate difficulty it's not that difficult but then again it's not too easy the the connectors it's possible to move them if you don't clip them too tightly they are possible to unstick and uh, remove a little bit here so for example uh, here I have partially covered this LED so I want to move this connector I do this and I slightly shift it around and connect it back so it's doable but then again the entire LED strip is very easy to, sh to shift around every small movement and it potentially covers the uh, the lead goes under the uh, the clip on so it's not ideal i would prefer the the strip that actually is glued itself to uh, the tv or at least i would prefer this option at the moment it's sort of weird weird setup uh the corners as you can see are not smart corners that was promised that were promised in the original of the in the beginning of the Kickstarter campaign but they are okay I suppose the problem I have with this is that those strips uh, those uh, LEDs they look back at the at the wall but those LEDs they actually look up so I don't know if maybe I need to put a clip on here so that it slightly changes again I would prefer to be able to cut it place the corner here and make sure that everything is nice and flat. Another issue that you might potentially see that those clip-ons, they are not enough. Uh, this is the only one I have left and I have a four here, six here, four there and five there. So it's in total it's 20 clip-ons and um, I don't think it's enough for, for this because Without too many clip-ons, the, the LED strip goes like that sometimes, and you need to make sure that it's actually uh, properly and tightly running around the back of the TV. So self-adhesive LED strip would be preferred there. But, okay, we have what we have. So I have to now go and move this strip around so it, it's all even. The bottom edge of the TV is not straight it has all the modules wi-fi modules bluetooth modules and whatnot and i don't think it's uh, it's ideal but it's okay okay now i have to cut this ribbon here and connect the power one problem that i see that this is all that is left as you can see it's very very small piece left so my TV is only 65 inches and I don't think the LED strip will be enough for TV of 73 or even 80 84 inch oh, everything is connected I am about to test it for the first time I haven't neatly packed everything oh 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 something started it booted by itself this is actually the first time I see it so I wanted to show you that these things are quite unwieldy and it's they're quite huge and heavy. The, the cable itself is very thick. So if you try to light this corner, and my idea is that I want to place these things here, but move the cable here around the back, I have no idea how to do it at the moment because this thing is basically unbendable and uh, the cable itself is very thick 
Uh, one thing I thought about the corners is I think it's possible to actually buy the connectors anywhere the LED connectors with four pins and corners, plastic corners and cut the ribbon here and just basically uh, connect uh, connect them here and glue it and it will lie flat around the back I don't think it's a huge issue so it's actually solvable it will not be a smart corner but it will work in any case I think the whole idea the guys wanted to achieve with the uh, clip-ons is to allow you to reuse the LED strip which is good but it produces a ton of problems as you can see and this is the solution for this corner and I think the whole idea of this bottom left corner is the weakest part of the entire setup to make the corner as smooth as possible those two connectors have to be as close together as possible at the same time these the, uh, these wires are pretty thick and hard to bend I don't want this cable to stick from the bottom of the, of the TV but even so if I would not do this with the clip-on this part of the LED strip is looking left this part of the LED strip is looking to the bottom to make them kind of proper this thing I don't know it, it should have corners here instead of uh, straight ones the connectors the plastic connectors themselves they have the um, adhesive uh, strip at the back so I was able to connect them to each other but I don't think this will stick for long okay uh, a few additional arrangements and I will be able to put the TV back to my wall to see the light back in full effect so I'm I've connected the light pack, currently it's in a mood setup, yeah, so I can switch it and it changes the color. Uh, it's quite far from the wall, so I cannot tell if it's pretty or not, but just to illustrate it, so here how it looks, I can change it with the moods button on the remote, it does something. I'm not sure if it's okay or not, but in any case, I want to use media, so I press media and it's off because currently there's no input. I wanted to show you how it changes input, so if I press the input button here, it shows you which input is the correct one currently. I change it again and it goes to the different input, and I think it's quite neat. So currently it's pretty dark. Uh, I'm conducting a test, so I have windows um, with a black background uh, with the taskbar off and I have an explorer window, very small one in the middle. So I'm dragging the window to the top of the screen and it light back correctly detects that there's a light source there. So I move the, uh, the window around and it connect correctly detects the position. You can see that it just goes correctly into all the places where this light source is at. And I think it's quite impressive. And it does it completely automatically. And if it's a little bit farther away from the screen, the screen edge, it doesn't light up so here it lights up a little bit and here it's off okay i can tell you that this is pretty good i have some test patterns uh, on my screen and uh, you can see how corners work or actually don't so this is the blue square in the top right corner and only three LEDs are on, but they are on the top of the screen and not on the side. The same goes for the bottom one. Uh, the middle, you can see this is the, this is the green. Uh, and on the top we can see that the six LEDs are on. Um, with the red one, you can see that, uh, again, only top three LEDs are on, the side three dots on the corner are not on. 
which is odd because well I would, I would suppose they should be working unless of course I have to move this and this is not the proper corner I don't know this is the grayscale ramp which basically goes from black to white and from black to white again in the opposite directions of the screen and if we look behind the TV um, this is how the brightness increases and it handles this quite well uh, this is the last one which corresponds to still kind of grayish area which goes a little bit further but here we have the everything is off and here is the area where black and white are connecting and if we go behind the screen you can see this is basically where the LEDs abruptly stop simulating this quite well I think so I have figured out the problem with the corners or rather the feature or something in between if you go to the manual corner setup by holding the input button for two seconds it starts to move slowly uh, segment by segment uh, lighting up uh, three LEDs at a time uh, allowing you to press input again and designate a corner of course as you can see it only uses three LEDs for the corner designation while according to the manual and uh, the way I've done this I have two segments for each corner three and three and of course this is the the way that uh, they have intended because we all remember how it looks in, in, in this place so we have we are supposed to connect uh, both ends of uh, the LED strip in the, in this corner and of course it starts uh, with segments here and segment, segment here and that means that each corner should be consisting of two segments of the three LEDs while the firmware of, uh, of the light pack uses only uh, one segment for each corner I have contacted uh, the customer support and they were pleasant uh, with all their responses uh, however they said they are not sure what to do with this at the moment one thing of course I can do is I can move this segment and make it a corner so the connect connection happens not in this place but rather here and then I can rewire a little bit the this strip making it so that each corner consists only of uh, one segment and this will work nicely but I'm just not sure if I want to do this uh, in case the guys in uh, Wooden Shark uh, update the firmware and make it uh, so that it uses two segments for each corner so this is a little bit of conundrum but um, to be honest uh, it's not that big of a deal I mean it introduces a slight issue in terms of detection of uh, of the colors uh, in the edge I will show you later but other than that it's completely fine I guess so a little bit about my impressions of Lightpack uh, I've lived with it for a week for about a week now I've played a couple of Xbox games and uh, maybe watched a movie or two it's quite an impressive piece of technology overall and I think uh, from what I've shown you it goes to show that um, the guy is actually trying to make a really really good product and uh, it's still a better it still it still requires some work uh, one of the things that bothers me a little bit is that uh, colors are mostly washed out uh, most of the time you will see blue or white blue uh, light coming from from the light pack uh, because it's the most intensive one and um, uh, the rest of the colors they 
harder to see and uh, I'm not sure if you can catch it from from this recording but um, most of the time it's it's white or uh, white blue uh, color on the screen uh, not uh, other warm colors I've talked to customer support about it and let them know about it and uh, they know about this issue and uh, they do plan to do something about it eventually but I don't think it will happen anytime soon um, other than that uh, the there's practically zero lag I haven't noticed any lag whatsoever and you can see the image is slowly moving on the screen and uh, the light pack updates the colors uh, accordingly and uh, the corners issue doesn't bother me to that much anymore I think I was kind of annoyed in the beginning but now I think it's fine um, overall it definitely adds to the experience of watching TV or playing a game it just adds a little bit and not too much it's not, not distracting but if I could change uh, the kind of saturation of colors or brightness of various colors or adjust uh, some settings uh, to make sure that uh, the white is not uh, uh, that intensive then it would be definitely better because right now you can see the green is almost non-existent at the, at the top but uh, the white is is really washing everything out with blue and white it's it's, it's perfect and uh, with colors like that when you have uh, warmer tones it's uh, less bright it's definitely uh, not showing them that effectively and uh, I do hope it will be fixed in the firmware uh, it does also have some issues when switching modes on the Kodi uh, when it switches from 60 Hertz to 24 Hertz uh, on the TV the light pack flashes for a second uh, or for half a second um, but I guess this is to be expected um, other than that I don't think there's much to tell it's uh, it's a nice piece of product it took them much longer than expected simply because I think um, they underestimated the complexity of the technology behind it but uh, they managed to solve most of the issues and um, hopefully people who will buy this they will be happy